Hi everyone, it's Jillian from Hooked and Smitten. For today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how I crochet this leaf motif. This was made using a sport weight cotton yarn and a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. Let's get started. To begin, make a magic ring. Chain one. Make 16 single crochet inside the magic ring. That's four, five, six, seven, Eight. Continue making eight more and I'll meet you at the end. You're going to join at the first single crochet with a slip stitch. And that is the end of round one. For round two, chain five. Make a double crochet into the next chain, into the next stitch. Chain two, one double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, one double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, and this will be a stitch repeat all the way around. Double crochet into the next stitch, chain two. Continue and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the round, chain two. And make a slip stitch into the third chain. And you should have 16 double crochets and chain two spaces. And that is the end of round two. For round three, chain one. Three single crochet into the next chain two space. Three single crochet into the next chain two space and that is your stitch repeat for the chain two space you're going to make three single crochet into every space Continue and I'll meet you on the other side. At the end of the round, you're going to make a slip stitch into the first single crochet. And you should have a total of 48 stitches and that is the end of round 3. Chain 7. Six and seven. You're going to make a treble crochet into that same stitch. Chain three and make ten double crochet inside that loop. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're going to make a slip stitch into that same stitch that you made the treble crochet. Chain one. Turn to the other side of the loop and inside you're going to make nine single crochets. That's six, seven, 
eight and nine chain three and you're gonna make a slip stitch into the third chain chain three and you're gonna make a slip stitch inside that same chain chain one you're gonna make a slip stitch into each double crochet and you should have 10 slip stitch because you made 10 double crochets you're gonna have to pull the stitch apart because there's a stitch right here that you need to make a slip stitch you're gonna put your hook under that stitch you're gonna make a slip stitch and you're gonna chain one slip stitch into the next stitch chain one slip stitch chain one all the way to the end In the last double crochet you're gonna make a slip stitch you're not going to chain you're gonna make a slip stitch you're gonna pull the apart because it's hiding behind the leaf that you just made and you're gonna make a single a slip stitch into the next three stitches And you've just made your first leaf and you're going to repeat by chaining seven we're going to make one more leaf together that's one two three four four five six and seven you're going to make a treble crochet into that same stitch chain three and make 10 double crochet inside the loop. That's two, three, four, nine, and 10. Slip stitch into the same stitch as the treble crochet chain one turn and make nine single crochet into the loop that's two three eight nine chain three slip stitch into the chain three chain three slip stitch into the chain three again chain one make a slip stitch into the next stitch chain one slip stitch chain one Into the last double crochet you do not make a chain one instead you make a slip stitch into the next three stitches and you've just created two leaves 
and you're gonna repeat all the way around and I'll meet you there at the end when you finish your final leaf you should have four chains left four stitches you're gonna make a slip stitch into each stitch And then you're going to fasten off, you're going to sew in your ends, and you're going to block your project. As always, thank you for visiting my channel. Please like and subscribe.